What's going on my Jack brother, Coach Scott here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the foods you should avoid to lose weight and get lean. And no, this is absolutely nothing like those ridiculously insane videos that tell you to avoid eating bread or peas or carrots because there's sugar in them. And for God's sake, avoid eating bananas. I have one or two bananas every single freaking day and have for years. I don't know if you've noticed, but it certainly has not had an impact on my ability to lose fat and carve out a lean and muscular physique. Now I wanna ask you, have you ever eaten something and thought to yourself, man, that just wasn't worth it. And not in the sense of like beating yourself up or feeling guilty, but eating that food and just thinking to yourself, oh, I really didn't enjoy that all that much. And thinking, man, I could have for that amount of calories that I just consumed, I could have had something that I absolutely freaking love and enjoy and sets my taste buds on fire and provides me with more energy and fuel to get through the day. If you can relate, I'd love for you to share some of your experiences down in the comment section below. I'm gonna share some of my clients' experiences in this video as well as some of my own personal experiences. One that I just had yesterday after absolutely freaking crushing a killer freaking leg workout, my appetite was ravenous. And this is, I had already eaten a fair amount of food leading up to that workout, some solid freaking pre-workout nutrition, but I do find that like after a killer leg workout or back workout, my appetite increases pretty dramatically and I need to get food in me right away. Oftentimes, especially when I know I'm gonna be out and about, I usually uh, bring along some Greek yogurt and berries with me, something to get in me immediately after that workout to kind of curb my cravings, my appetite, and just satisfy that hunger immediately. I wasn't prepared this time, and on the way home, I knew I had to stop off and get groceries, which is never a good idea for me to go get groceries when I'm feeling hungry, but uh, it was unavoidable. I needed some ingredients for my dinner that I was preparing later on that evening. Uh, so going down, up and down the aisles, I ended up seeing a trail mix, a blend of like mixed nuts in there and some uh, yogurt-covered raisins. Of course, telling yourself, I, it's good, healthy, foods, uh, natural foods, gonna provide me with some uh, decent nutrients there. But in my head, I knew, like, I, my goal was, all right, I can munch on that in the car, it'll kind of curb my cravings until I can get home and get a full meal in me. Um, I was trying to justify it in my mind there, which sounded like a good idea if I could just have like one handful of it, but I know myself better than that. I know whenever I have a bag of anything, it's gone. I'm gonna demolish the entire thing. But I thought to myself, I can, I can, I got strong willpower, I can, I can handle this, but, Sure enough, in the car, one hand fall, I'm like, that's okay. It was food in my stomach, but in goes my hand again. I should like seal that bag, threw it in the trunk or something like that, but no, right next to me. And I just kept eating it. Next thing you know, the entire bag was gone uh, by the time I got home. And at the end of it, I was like, it didn't even freaking taste good. Like, yeah, it was something that was gonna tie me over until I got home, but I really did not enjoy that trail mix whatsoever, I mean, it was okay, but I thought to myself afterwards, for the amount of calories that I just consumed, I could have stopped off and had all you can eat sushi at one of my favorite places and totally curb my cravings. I would have had to drive all the way home uh, in order to get that. So it's just one of those experiences where I'm like, it just, eating that wasn't worth it. Like the trade-off of calories, I could have had something that I enjoyed so much more. So there were a couple lessons I learned from this experience. Again, the reminder to just not go grocery shopping when I'm hungry. So I should have known if I had to go grocery shopping after a workout, I should have been prepared, had that Greek yogurt and berries with me or some other kind of uh, small meal in the car. Or if I was in that jam, make a better decision when I'm in the grocery store. Instead of getting something like uh, the mixed nuts that's really high in calories there, um, get a bag of beef jerky, cause that's like a total of, I don't know, maybe 160 calories. Uh, and that is satisfying, a great protein source and definitely going to satisfy me by the time I got home. It takes some time to chew that beef jerky as well. So um, there's a lot more to it. I have done that in the past. So um, just not the best of decisions in that moment. Again, I don't feel guilt over it. I just know it wasn't worth the experience, all those calories that I consumed. I ended up having a very upset stomach this morning because of that, and I knew that was gonna happen. Um, and it really didn't even fill me up. Like that whole bag of nuts, not only was it enjoyable, but it wasn't really all that satiating. I was still hungry uh, when I got home and still needed to eat another meal. So lots of learning lessons there. Be prepared uh, and make a better decision, something like the beef jerky instead. Another uh, great example from my lifestyle as of late, if you've been following my Jack Act for Life vlogs for any length of time, you know that one of my favorite treats on the weekend is to have Miss Vicky's chips. Um, sometimes I'll have some 
peanut butter M&Ms, one of my favorite treats, uh, or some Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Sometimes I'll have all of them. Uh, but for the past few months, like whenever I've had the peanut butter M&Ms, like a treat that I absolutely freaking loved for the past couple of years, I'm like, I've been thinking to myself, after I eat it, I'm like, I really didn't enjoy that all that much. It's not, I'm not enjoying it like I always used to. It's no longer uh, my favorite treat. I, like, end up eating it, and, eh, it's just meh. And then even after having the Ben & Jerry's ice cream, some of my favorite flavors afterwards, I'm like, eh, it's okay. Like, instead of the, the peanut butter M&Ms, I would much rather go to, like, my favorite cafe or bakery and have, like, a delicious homemade fresh brownie or pumpkin loaf or coffee cake. Instead of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, I'd love to like two weeks ago, I went to Walkerville Chill and had one of their cinnamon, cinnamon bun uh, chimney cones. Oh my freaking God. So it's got the, the, the twirl ice cream in, the soft syrup ice cream. Uh, the cinnamon, the, the cone is like a freaking cinnamon bun cone there, the chimney cone. Uh, it's got some pecans and some cream cheese in the bottom. So again, roughly but the same amount of calories as that pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream that I'd have, but so much more enjoyable. It's just a different experience. And again, with the, the brownies, the pumpkin loaves, and, and, and with this ice cream, I'm supporting some local small businesses as well. But the main thing is that I'm getting more pleasure out of that experience. So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have a treat, I wanna have the full out freaking delicious treat that I find great pleasure and joy from. But it's not just treats I'm talking about here, it's also health foods. Like for me, there's some veggies that I just don't enjoy and I'm not going to eat them just because they're supposed to be good for me. Uh, I am going to gravitate more towards the veggies that I absolutely freaking love. I love baked Brussels sprouts. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with how you prepare foods. Like I gotta say like the Normandy blend of vegetables, the broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, maybe not my favorite, like on its own, I don't, enjoy it a lot. If I, if it's raw and I'm dipping it in something, it's going to be really good. Uh, but I find like how you prepare it, like with certain seasonings or if you bake it or something, it's like baking the, the Brussels sprouts is freaking awesome. I love like fried peppers. I could have fried peppers with my eggs, with my, my dinner meals. I just, something about them I love. And the baked Brussels sprouts, I could have every freaking day. That, that combination along with like sweet potatoes, I'm like, I'm in heaven with that. So gravitating towards foods, great nutrient rich foods that I thoroughly enjoy. I thoroughly love, like I am not going to eat anything that I don't enjoy. And that's the thing. Like I want you to avoid foods that don't bring great pleasure to your life and don't provide value to your life. And lately I found myself snacking a little more than normal in the evening while watching the hockey playoffs here, go Leafs go. Uh, and I just kind of thinking to myself, all right, well, what are some the better options for me to have if I'm going to be snacking at night? Uh, and I picked up, uh, a thing of rice cakes there, something that I've had in the past when going through a cutting phase, it kind of curbs my cravings a little bit. I like the little bit of the crunch and some of the sweetness in there, but this time around having the rice cakes, I'm like, these are just not doing it for me at all. I'm not enjoying these whatsoever. And I think to myself, all right, 120 calories worth of rice cakes, what could I have instead? One of my favorite treats is definitely like those smoked salmon slices. I'll put a little bit of spicy mustard on top of that. Sometimes I'll even add like some sun-dried tomatoes on that. Same amount of freaking calories, so much more nutrients, so much more satisfying for me. Definitely more money <laughs> for the, the smoked salmon there. But uh, again, freaking it's all about the, the enjoyment there. It's curbing my cravings at the same time as well as fueling my life. So, but again, getting that joy out of the overall experience. Beef jerky is another one. Like I do enjoy that at night. It's a great, I'd rather have like something higher in protein. Um, and I love beef jerky. It's a great little treat, a little pepperette, something like that. Something that I know I'm going to really enjoy. Um, and it's going to, again, after I eat it, I'm gonna to think to myself, that was definitely worth it. And one of my client's experiences, again, it's the, the late night snacking there. He found himself having a bagel. Uh, and after having the bagel, again, just thinking it's just not worth it. And it's, it's happened multiple times as of late. Um, like, what the heck, so what's up with the bagels? Like, you're not even enjoying it. So let's find uh, a different substitution that's going to satisfy you more. Uh, he's done the Greek yogurt and berries, which he enjoys. He's in cottage cheese and berries, which he enjoys. So if you're going to have a snack, if you're going to, if you feel like you need to satisfy a craving, choose something that at least after you eat it, you're gonna be like, damn right, that was freaking good. I enjoyed every second of that. Uh, at the same time, become aware, like why are you having that craving 
at night? Why do you feel this need to have that food? And for him, it was boredom. Sorry, what can you do to replace that boredom? Like food never satisfies the boredom. It uh, it just kind of adds to, I, I think, stress and anxiety when you're eating it out of boredom. Like, what the hell am I doing? I'm not even hungry. I'm not even enjoying this. Why the frick am I eating this? Uh, do other things like get out for a walk, do some stretching, do some yoga, have a great conversation with a family member or whatever. Just call up a friend, whatever, just something to distract yourself from feeling bored and this need to grab food in the process. But again, if you're going to grab food, at least make sure it's something that you're going to enjoy. So the big take home message that I want to get across to you is again, when you're thinking of the foods that you're eating think to yourself, was this worth it? Did you enjoy? So I want you to avoid the foods that after you eat it, you're like, meh, meh. It was okay, I didn't really enjoy that. And if you, that is the case, what can you replace that food with that you would enjoy, that would provide your body with the nutrients and the fuel that's going to allow you to feel your best and live your life to the fullest. No foods are ever off limits. So it doesn't make sense to eat something that you don't enjoy when you can choose from all of the foods that you absolutely freaking love and incorporate them into your overall diet plan. I hope this message resonated with you. And again, if you can relate, I'd love for you to share your experiences down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from listening to today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.